Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how to share textures between HeavyM2 and another app using Siphon or Spout, and especially NDI. Let's start with theory. Siphon on Mac and Spout on Windows are two technologies used to send and receive video frames in real time between apps running on the same computer. They allow you to receive and display the feed of other applications in HeavyM and the other way around, send the HeavyM output to another software like Resolume or VDMX, for example. You just have to make sure that the apps are running on the same graphic card of your computer to share textures. NDI is a protocol that is also used to send and receive video stream between apps. But unlike Siphon or Spout, NDI works through the network. The communicating apps can therefore be on different computers, as long as they are connected to the same network. Even if NDI is possible with Wi-Fi, we recommend you to use Ethernet with a good quality network. In HeavyM, Siphon, Spout, and NDI work exactly the same way. Let's start by sharing a shader from HeavyM to Resolume. To do this, all you have to do in HeavyM is to make sure that the Enable Siphon, Spout, or Enable NDI features are checked. Siphon, Spout, and NDI are already included in HeavyM, so you don't need to install anything. Now, you should see HeavyM as a Siphon Spout or NDI source in the application that will receive your texture. Just note that the texture sent by HVM is the total resolution of the canvas. To change this size, go to the canvas settings in HVM. Okay, let's move to the logo mapping. For this tutorial, we're going to animate our logo with HVM and After Effects. So here's the setup. We have launched After Effects on this Mac computer, while HeavyM is running on this PC. Note that both devices are connected to the same network. By using NDI, we're going to send After Effects textures into HeavyM and add built-in effects to animate our logo. Okay, the first step is to install the NDI plugin on After Effects. You can download the Adobe plugin for free on the official website ndi.tv slash tools. As we have already seen, you don't need to enable texture sharing or install anything in HeavyM, but it may be necessary in the app that sends it. Once the package is installed, go to the After Effects preferences and open Video Preview. There. Make sure NDI output is checked and click on OK. That's it. We're ready to map. To save time, we have already created our animations in After Effects and drawn our logo outlines in HeavyM. You'll find the HeavyM project in the description of the video. OK. So since our animation is already ready in After Effects, we just have to display it in this hexagon. To do this, start by creating the player that will display our NDI stream. Next, you need to add your NDI stream into HeavyM. Click the plus button in the sources panel and select NDI stream from the drop down list. Like any other source, the NDI stream needs to be connected to a player to be displayed on the canvas. First, make sure you have selected your player, then enable the target icon on the thumbnail of your NDI stream. Perfect. Now, open your NDI stream settings by clicking on the cog icon on the thumbnail. In the settings window, select After Effects from the stream drop-down list. That's it. The two applications are now communicating, and HeavyM is receiving the texture sent by After Effects in this player. We have already seen that an NDI stream is considered a source in HeavyM. Well, like other multimedia sources, you can combine it with shaders. Let's try on the sequence too. You have already created your NDI stream to make HeavyM and After Effects communicate. So you don't need to create a new one 
Simply reconnect the NDI stream source to the player on your new sequence to indicate to HeavyM that you want to display the After Effects render in this player. Since our NDI stream is displayed in a player, we can apply a shader to it. Let's try this one. Great! We are now adding a shader to a sequence, which will be applied on every visual content of that sequence. For more information on shaders, check out this tutorial. In addition to the shaders, you can also use the built-in effects. In this last sequence, we created a new group with the letters and the shapes of the logo. Let's add some colors to it and see. Cool. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more help resources or visit our help center to learn more about Heavy M2.